Learning how to get a noisy class's attention isn't easy, and a lot of times the techniques that work will emerge through trial and error. To give you some ideas, I'm going to share some positive behavior management strategies that I found effective, and techniques for grabbing attention that you can take into the classroom. As always, any example resources that I talk about in this video, you can download from the Twinkle website, and I'll leave a link to them in the description below. Idea number one is call and response. You can use clapping patterns for a class to repeat back, like this. I loved this strategy when I was a child because I thought it was fun to try and mimic it back every time and a little bit of a challenge. You can also come up with a call and response of your own. This can be something quirky or silly or really simple, whatever you like and whatever suits you and your class. Idea number two is to make it fun. I think a quick game of Simon Says is a great way to get learners to refocus their attention on you because it makes them focus their attention and concentrate. Something many teachers swear by is the simple technique of standing in front of class very confidently confidently and waiting for them to give you their attention. In practice, I found this to be a bit hit and miss depending on the class. However, you can make it a bit fun by throwing in a secret action. This is another fun technique where ahead of time, you agree on a silent action with your class. For example, it could be putting your hand on your head or holding both your ears. If at any point you do this and you wait, everyone else in the class needs to stop what they're doing and do it too. However, there are rules. If someone notices the teacher doing it, they can't tell anybody. All they can do is do the action and wait for everybody else to notice. Eventually, more and more people will notice and copy the silent action and hopefully you will have a nice quiet class. You can make this more of a game by setting a timer every time you do it and challenging the class to beat their best time every time. Or you can add an incentive. Like if they consistently manage to fall quiet each time, maybe they can get some kind of reward. And this brings me to my next tip incentives. Having a sticker chart is a nice and easy way to encourage good behavior. I like handing out individual sticker charts so students can collect evidence that they're doing the right thing and maybe later cash it in for a reward of some kind. Something else that's really simple to do is that while children are working, circulating around the classroom and complimenting students who are working well and quietly and doing the right thing. This is effective because other students will notice as well and it encourages them to do the right thing. And it also makes children who are doing the right thing feel good about themselves. Idea number four is proximity. You can also use where you are in the space to help lower the noise level. For example, if you are addressing the whole class and you hear talking coming from somewhere in the back, you don't need to stop what you're doing. You can just casually wander over to where the noise is coming from and nine times out of 10, by the time you get there, the culprit would have noticed that you're coming and quietened down. If they don't, you can also do something really subtle like putting your hand on their desk or politely and quietly ask them to pay attention. My last suggestion is to use a noiseometer. A noiseometer acknowledges that there are times when it's okay to be noisy, but there are also times when it isn't. Having a noiseometer displayed in your classroom will let students know at any given time what the noise level should be like. It also gives the teacher something that they can draw attention to if the noise level is getting higher than they would like it. I hope these tips on how to make a noisy class quiet have been helpful. Do you have any strategies that work for you that I haven't mentioned here? I'd love to hear them, so please leave a comment down below. Thank you for watching and have a great day.